Hello, Winnie Winnie Kaka, Um Chow Wow Wow Pee Wow Wow. Recently, my friend Olivia made a video talking about relationship red flags. And in her video, she mentioned my red van. Another red flag is if they have a couch or a mattress in the back of their van that they drive. Another red flag is if they have such a bad relationship with their exes that their exes poop in their van. They broke, they broke into, into his van, van and pooped in it. And how an ex-girlfriend, well, pooped in my van. I want to tell that story. So, here we go. Here's a story that I named, dump da dum the mystery of the poop van. <laughs> Okay, so it starts like this. My grandpa died when I was in high school, and when he did, he left a red Astro van. And our family ended up with it. Eventually, it was mine. I loved it. I thought it was pretty cool. So, my dad owned a furniture store at the time. Well, still does. And one day, a small couch came in that rolled out into a bed. I put two and two together, and my eyes lit up. This had to go in the van. So, we cut it out and made it fit, and it worked. We have made a pimp machine. And yeah, in hindsight, it was a little creepy, but I loved it. But the locks didn't work and people would write free candy on the side. But damn it, our weekends were full of fun and adventure and campfires and manly activities. So at the time, my friends were, we'll call them Gate and Harley. And we'd always stay at Gate's house because his mom was cool with us being loud and staying up super late. Okay, so it was a Saturday night, and unlike our t typical Saturday night, we went to bed early so we could go snowboarding in the morning. I was hardly awake, and I got into the van before everyone else like to warm it up. I sat down and put my key in the ignition, but it didn't feel right. Like, the key should make a metallic sound when you put it in. I put my hand on the steering wheel to get a closer look, and, well, there was poop in the keyhole. Just then I looked at my hand and yeah, there was also poop on the steering wheel. <sighs> Horrified. I like looked at the like the rest of the van and right there, right in the middle, right in the back seat, there was a perfect poo right there. I ran inside and woke up everyone. <laughs> I he screamed, I was like, somebody pooped in the van! Immediately, we got up and started cleaning and tried to figure out who could have done this. Who could have pooped in the van? So we looked outside for evidence and there it was. Two footprints, small footprints. That's when Gate mumbled something. He was like, I think I know who did this. His theory was that it was his ex-girlfriend, Rifni, who did it. This made sense because they had just broken up and it was like super dramatic. Also, she was a big sketch ball. Like, this girl was even sketchier than my van. That's a lot of sketch. Okay, so school on Monday and the word had gotten out that somebody pooped in my van and, well, Rifney did it. <sighs> I let it go and I didn't question it any further. No, it wasn't my ex-girlfriend and it was completely horrible, but sometimes you get caught up in other people's drama and it's, well, shitty. But hey, that's life, and it's about the story you tell, and thanks to her, I have an excellent story to tell. So, all is fair in love and war, or, uh, you know, vans and poop. Thanks for watching, thank you, and just to let you know, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the summer, so I'd appreciate it if you uh, subscribed. I upload every Sunday, and sometimes randomly in the middle of the week. So, thank you, and I love ya. Bye! Adi, adi, cuckoo!